it's not the Western diet that's the problem, it's the entire Western environment. The Western environment uh, carries a lot of pollution from cars and industry. Uh, a lot of materials uh, are used it, sometimes in production of food crops, for example, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides. Um, our entire environment is more carcinogenic, uh, generally speaking, than you would find in a less developed part of the world. It's extremely important for health to eat a well-balanced diet which includes lean red meat because you give yourself the best chance then of coping with any assault that the environment makes uh, on your health. Most of the stories that we see in newspapers written by often well-meaning journalists are reporting some association that's been detected uh, uh, by an individual research group. And science is not about simple associations. It's about determining the relationship between cause and effect. Um, and take, for example, the case of deaths of hedgehogs on the road since the end of the Second World War. They mirror exactly the sales of televisions since the end of the Second World War. And if I applied a statistical analysis, the two populations of data would show absolute statistical significance of correlation. But they have no meaning in science because televisions don't kill hedgehogs. So it's very important for us to distinguish between what are cause and effect mechanisms and what are simple associations which have no meaning fundamentally in science. The evidence that we have so far scientifically uh, is that lean red meat does not cause cancer provided that it is produced, prepared and cooked appropriately. Uh, we shouldn't be concerned about carcinogens being present in what we eat because our body is designed to neutralize large numbers of carcinogens automatically. If you tried to remove from a plate of food every food that contains a carcinogen, then you'd be lucky to be left with a glass of distilled water. All foods contain hazards for the consumer, but the benefits of eating lean red meat far outweigh any possible disadvantages according to the scientific evidence at the present time. The golden rule in health and food is that you eat a little bit of everything and not too much of any one thing, thereby avoiding the accumulation of contaminants of one sort or another. <laughs>